What up, people? It's your boy, Stealth Jet, back at it once again, and I'm here to bring you some more gameplay. In case you didn't know, Anakin, in my opinion, is a top three map in this game. Top two map if you're a new player. And I say if you're a new player, because on Anakin, you can't hide. You can run, but you can't hide. All it takes is for somebody to spot you going in one direction and they know exactly where you're going to go. And for that reason, it for the game, well this map really, forces you to play the game and not hide in a bush. I mean sure you can hide against a rock and hopefully try to blend in with it, but if you're doing that, you're not playing the game. I mean just my opinion just my opinion indeed it is what it is now we heard that shot actually screw that shot you see where i'm looking somebody should have spawned right here but due to where i spawned pretty much i spawned in between two other spawns which means those two other spawns don't have anybody in them so even though i'm looking for somebody nobody's here and at least that's what I think. I mean, if you spawn at point B, nobody should be between or nobody should be at spawn A and spawn C. That's what I'm thinking. I could be wrong. But I just proved to you that I played this game way too much. Also, you see this guy right here? He's going to get shot at. There's still a gunfight going on down there. And yes, I know I got an M21. And in case you didn't know, the M21 is indeed the bane of my existence. But um, I'm going to see if I can find anybody. But then again, why am I looking over here when someone A just used the comm station and B just used the tower, which is behind me? Yeah. And it's crazy. As soon as I turn around and start running that way, more gunfights happen in this direction. So it's kind of like, you know, I made the right choice. You know what I'm saying? And based off of how many times I'm hearing a bullet leave a barrel, it's quite fierce. And you know what sucks? Why are pistols so loud when they cause so little damage? It's like you're giving yourself away for what? I mean, no shade on pistols. There are some good pistols, like the Luger, for example. But, bruh, why they gotta be so loud if they're so weak? We're gonna keep going forward, though. And yes, I'm in a disruptive tower's area, but I'm trying to find a person that hit it. You know what I'm saying? And I don't think they should be coming from this direction where I'm heading right now. But... This guy was definitely a survivor of that fierce gunfight that we heard earlier. One bullet killed him and it wasn't a headshot. Yeah, he was hurt. He was wounded for real. But I'm about to be wounded too.
Alright, maybe not me, but my body armor for sure. And by the way, that whole exchange right there just goes to show you that just because you see somebody does not mean you should aim at them. You see, this guy would have been safe. He would have been. But he aimed at me through a scope instead of with his eyes. That glint can get you killed. And this right here is a perfect example. And you know what? Credit where credit is due. Homeboy hit me with a VSS from like 300 meters away. He knew what he was doing. So, you know, props to you, my boy. I appreciate you as a uh, valid VSS user. There's a person right there. How much y'all want to bet this guy was on this lighthouse for half the match? How much you want to bet? He, he was here when I shot the guy with an M21. He was here then, and he's still here now. Yeah. And the, the, the absolute craziest part that I cannot wrap my mind around, if I didn't get up and turn, I would not have gotten headshotted. He hit me mid-animation. And with an AORA1 at that. Guys, I'm going to make it up to you. I promise you.